Joel Porter are all Neil Cooper signings. And they're also looking relaxed. There's huge mutual respect between the two managers. He's gone on record as saying that Neil Cooper should be the second division manager of the year. All to play for. As the battle to reach the second division final at Cardiff recommences at Ashton Gate. And straight from the kickoff, Tillian hits it long. Here's Hugh Robertson, the man with the deadly left foot, looking to supply for Humphreys from the throw. Rougier, who gave Bristol City such a good start with the goal in the first five minutes of Victoria Park. Sun just setting on Ashton Gate, we're enjoying the mid-May weather. It's a lovely evening to play football on, look. It's a lovely pitch, they've sprinkled it, they will water it constantly before the game. Andy Wilson, no doubt, wanting Bristol City to play their normal passing game and trying to get this pitch playing as fast as possible. And really trying to get his team to settle down as quick as possible as well. Humphreys looking for Boyd and then Humphreys taking it on board again. Ambitious from that sort of range. Well, slightly ambitious, wasn't it? But uh, it was worth a go this early in the game, but never really connected with the body. Trying to hit across the ball, of course. Trying to start it outside the post to curl it in, but never really connected at all. Robertson with the free kick. Keep it Nelson, who's gone forward again. Williams comes in. Hooked away. Points underneath it. And Bristol City in the end having to throw bodies at it to save the day. We go from the chance, it's just a hopeful ball into the area. Flicks on nice and high because he still really needs a glance, and I think Williams may be just better just poking that for goal rather than trying to take that down. On by Roberts. Now Murray. Rouget's in the middle. It's blocked by Westwood. Robinson tidying up behind him. Here's Boyd. And Boyd off the post! And Porter on the follow-up! How unlucky can you be? Great bit of play from Boyd, wasn't it? Long clearance just flicked on here, which made the difference. But he's still got it all to do. As he hits it here early on his right now, cuts back on his left foot, really tries to pick out that corner. Here's Porter. From Williams, oh, it's there! It's Sweeney who's got the goal that brings joy for Hartlepool. Incredible scenes at Ashton Gate. Great cross, wasn't it, from Williams on his hand, his right hand side. I've got a feeling it came off the defender. It wasn't so sweet a header from Sweeney. He gets between the forwards in the box again as he heads it. Look, no, it is. It's a great header right in the corner. It's all about the cross, the pace across, great curve, great shape on it, gets across his marker, and what a header right into the corner. And isn't he a happy man? Look at that. <laughs> These are challenging, and Rougier comes in and lashes it wide. Doherty. The ball to Murray. Plenty over for him, but he wants to do it on his own. Good block. Here's Roberts. Good fellow! Yes! And Bristol City are right back in the chase for a place in the playoff final. What a head, what a header from the little fellow, good fellow. Just had a go at him for not hitting the ball just recently back across the goal. But the pace was all on the cross. It's a super 
cross that comes in. He's just got to get his head to it. He gets his head to it. Great stuff, right in the corner. The little fellow is a real good fellow. Look at that, right in the corner. Fucking the has got no chance. Maybe gets a finger to it. As I say, the foul's all on the cross. And what's Danny now? Oh, same as Neil Cooper. Don't they just love it? And they'll be singing for he's a jolly good fellow right into the night. Neil Cooper and his side were around three minutes for stoppage time away from reaching the second division final. And it's been taken away from them by that header from Mark Goodfellow. How it turns so late in games. It's unbelievable, was it? Sunderland big Crystal Palace the other night as well. And that just changed right at the end with a Darren Powell goal. goal. And, uh, you know, you come all this way all season long. And then in the last couple of minutes, it's either snaps from your grasp or you get that little bit of glory. Six minutes of stoppage time. Christian Roberts is through and gets the goal that completes the turnaround for Bristol City. Wild scenes at Ashton Gate because they look down and out with three minutes to go. But now it's all turned around and they know that they are Cardiff bound thanks to a Cardiff ball player. And an excellent finish. A couple of times he showed a lack of composure for me, but tonight, right at the death, he's done it. Great bit of composure as he painted to shoot on his left foot. The ball comes up, he's just helped on a couple of times really. The stickler comes over, he shakes the shoot with his left, comes in on his left and slides it out. And that's a great finish. Tinkler comes over here and that's all about checking inside him. And yes, and straight through the keeper's legs. A little bit of good fortune there, but that's a great finish from Roberts. Great, great finish. Oh, and how has this one changed around? Oh, he's been for everything, Danny, hasn't he? And poor old Neil Cooper as well. Oh. And Bristol City have made it! After the heartbreak in the playoffs last year, Danny Wilson's team are in the second division final this. Former Bristol City man Martin Scott, the first to congratulate him. It was a valiant effort from Neil Cooper's Hartley Claw, who actually took the lead for Anthony Sweeney. And Danny Wilson in victory offers a consoling word to his opposite number. Cardiff-born Christian Roberts will be back in his native city at the Millennium Stadium for the final. His was the winning goal after Mark Goodfellow had cancelled out the Sweeney goal that had seemed such a setback for Bristol City and until three minutes from the end of the 90 looked as though it would knock their hopes of a final again. But they came back, they got the crowd behind them and with Goodfellow's header and the final flourish from Christian Roberts, Bristol City have made it.